Hello everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we're going to be having a little look at a Game Boy Color. I haven't done a lot of videos on Game Boy Colors before, but I bumped into my friend Leo in town and he said he's got a Game Boy, he's got some Pokemon, he wants to play the Pokemon on his Game Boy, but the Game Boy doesn't work. So there's one person to come to for that. And it's probably not me because I have absolutely no idea how to fix this one, which is what will hopefully make this video more exciting. So without any further ado, let's get into that. So Leo came up to me and said, uh, I would very much like you to fix this Game Boy for me. And I asked him what the problem was and he said it doesn't play cartridges. Now he did say that, you know, he gave it the classic old little blow and uh, the classic blow into the inside and uh, yep, still nothing. And I thought, hmm, maybe if I was to do it, it would probably work because I didn't believe him that it didn't actually play games. And you can see here, it says Nintendo, the logo is perfect, so it isn't corrupt in any way. It says Game Boy and then nothing happens. Nothing goes any further than that. Now that is a unique fault. That is not something that you get often. So I've bought my own game here. This is a uh, Zelda Oracle of Ages. It's a really, really great game. Let's plug that into the back and see if that plays and just make sure that it's not actually the game. Nope, would you look at that? So it's very, very interesting that this is having problems. So I think what we're gonna do is crack it open and see what we can see inside. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix this. If I can't fix it, then I've got another motherboard that needs the speaker swapped over, so it'll still be a fun video. It's not gonna be quite as exciting um, as me fixing this. So let's go ahead and take it apart. So I'm really, really confused as to what this could be because as you can see, there doesn't seem to be any problem with any of the traces that jumps out to me as we look around this motherboard. So I'm just gonna remove the three screws on the back here. The way that the Game Boy cartridges connect is via contacts on the metal pins inside of the Game Boy cartridge. Now, as I tested earlier, it doesn't mean that this is actually uh, the problem. The Game Boy cartridge, uh, I know that this Game Boy cartridge works absolutely fine. So what I've been doing is taking a look down through the uh, top side of the cartridge here. And uh, what I actually noticed by just moving the um, cartridge like this, if I tilt it slightly, one of the pins sticks out to me. And uh, both literally and um, visually, I can see one of the pins is sticking out. You can see it there, just in that corner sticking out. It's really, really quite difficult to see. Um, but if I just move this along, that one right there on the end is raised. So what I'm gonna do is take my screwdriver set and just to take out the thinnest flathead bit that I can find, and this one's actually uh, quite thin, so we should be okay with this one. And I'm just gonna gently try and press this contact down again and see if that is actually what the problem is. So let's see if I can do this here on camera. You can actually see as well, if you look through the bottom, that it seems to be uh, deeper than all of the other ones, which leads me to believe that that is probably what the problem is. So I've had a little bit of wiggling around and it seems to be set somewhat back into position. So let's go ahead and pop the batteries back in and chuck the game in the back like that and turn it on, okay? And we're still not getting past that screen which is quite concerning. So yeah, definitely not being able to uh, get anything out of this Game Boy. That pin, I think, is probably damaged and bent beyond repair. So at least we knew relatively what it could have been. 
But then again, it could have been something completely different. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just replace this board. I know it's not quite as interesting and rewarding, um, but we still will need to use the speaker from this one. Right, so unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use uh, this board because the uh, pins on the cartridge slot are just way too gone and damaged beyond repair. But what I am gonna do is remove the um, speaker from it and use this board. Now I'm pretty certain this board works, but we're about to find out. Removing the speaker from a Game Boy is very, very easy. There's just two wires coming off of the speaker, and all you have to do is just gently heat them up whilst removing and pulling on the, uh, the speaker slightly. So let's go ahead and do that now. And just like that, we've removed the speaker. That actually proved quite difficult with the angle that I was trying to film it at and do it at the same time, but we seem to be there now, which is rather blooming relieving. Although I've just tried to add a little bit of solder onto the end and push the wire back through, so that's excellent. So let's go ahead and put the batteries back in. So right, moment of truth, let's see if this works. Sound works fine. And there we go, nice. Oh, although there's a little bit of a, uh, I mean, this isn't actually closed fully back together again, so that's probably why that didn't work, but let's just give it a little try. So it looks like the Game Boy is now working a little bit better, which is good, but unfortunately the only board I have has actually got quite a little bit of corrosion on it. And obviously I don't wanna give this back to Leo in a worse off state than it was given to me in. So I'm gonna to need to go ahead and clean all of the corrosion off. You can see a little bit there of some of the oxidation that's on the uh, start and um, also on the A and B. So that's nothing that isopropyl alcohol won't fix um, and that will clean up very, very nicely and on the headphone jack as well. So we'll put that board to one side for the moment and I thought what we could do is use our brand new ultrasonic cleaner and uh, give this thing a clean because as you can see, the buttons are a little bit grubby. So we can just drop them all in there. I mean, it's nothing um, too bad. It's just the kind of general uh, dirt and grime that you see on these things, but it would definitely be a nice rewarding um, repair if this is uh, nice and clean as well. So we can drop everything in. This is a really, really nice shell. This is the Atomic Purple. If we take the screen off as well, we will be able to put the uh, front piece in. You can actually see the uh, grime that's built up up there and also in the start and select and uh, D-pad and A and B um, holes as well. So if we drop all of that in, hopefully that all fits, not quite. Although I'll do it on one side and then um, take it out and do it again on the other side. So that should be fine because I need to do it twice anyway. That seemed to be the kind of um, sweet spot for getting this done. I can't do the back, unfortunately, because this has um, really nice condition stickers on it and I wouldn't want to damage those uh, and it's not mine at the end of the day. So I'll clean this up by hand. We'll set this on now and uh, leave that to do its thing for 10 minutes. Oh, whoopsie, I need to put the start and select button in there as well. That's everything I think. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll clean up this area and then we will clean up this board with some isopropyl alcohol. And so the final thing for us to do is go ahead and assemble the Game Boy. I'm pretty happy with uh, how everything has turned out so far. Everything seems to be in very, very nice condition. The um, ultrasonic cleaner has done an excellent job. I'm super, super happy with that little purchase that I made. I think it was like 14 pounds. I'll leave the link to it in the description if you're interested, but all of these buttons look brand, brand new. So putting it back together is very simple, of course. Just make it sure that there's no dust under the screen because that's a little bit annoying. I was going to replace the screen lens uh, with a silver one. I don't have a black one, unfortunately, uh, but Leo would prefer it to be um, a little bit more authentic to, you know, when he got this Game Boy and everything, which I completely understand. Also, the scratches are pretty unnoticeable uh, if you're not like super OCD about, um, you know, how 
how perfect a screen lens has to be. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. So then there's three screws that go into the back of the Game Boy. Honestly, I'm preaching the preach at this point. I know that you know how to put a Game Boy back together, but for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, then this is what you do. You put the three screws in to the back. Putting together and cleaning a Game Boy is honestly one of the most satisfying things uh, you can do in refurbishing um, consoles in general really because a home console doesn't get super grotty because it's not being held as as long as uh, everything else. Uh, everything is super super scrubbed up so we're going to just get our tri-wing out and put the six uh, tri-wing screws back into the back of it. And the final screw goes into the back of the Game Boy. Excellent, let's pop some batteries in the back. I understand mixing batteries isn't the best thing to do, but they're the only ones I have to hand at the moment. We'll pop the, uh, the game in, put our battery cover back on again, and for the moment of truth. Speaker works. There's our game. Oh, yes. Absolutely excellent. Let's just check that all the buttons work. Yep, all the buttons work perfectly. Amazing. Super happy with uh, how that has turned out. Um, it looks really, really great. Let's just check with a different game for the sake of it. I've got one here and uh, turn that on. Perfect, yeah, loads just seamlessly. Obviously it's a different board, but uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. I understand it wasn't quite as cool as uh, repairing an actual uh, faulty motherboard. Uh, we seem to get quite lucky with uh, repairing old technology that most of the time if it isn't just a quick clean I'll have another board which I'll just swap out and I understand that can get a little bit boring but just bear with me uh, whilst I get some consoles that have some actual problems. Thank you very much for you guys watching this video. Leo I hope you're happy with your Game Boy and uh, yeah I will catch you in the next video. Peace.